Well, the Pierce County Sheriff's Department shared this photo tonight, and it shows just how close that Sumner Great Fire was to destroying more homes. King 5's Britt Moore is in Sumner. And how are conditions there tonight, Britt? Well, we know the Sumner Grade Fire is now 20% contained. I can tell I'm seeing fewer and fewer hot spots, so that's a good sign tonight. Just from my vantage point, the state's fire marshal's office says if there is a massive shift in the weather conditions, well, at about a thousand structures could be at risk of burning down. That's not the case right now, and that is exactly why crews are still hard at work trying to get a handle on this fire. Another day of smoke filled skies and concerns about what lies ahead. Sky King video showing the devastation left behind from the Sumner grade fire. Well, I've never seen anything like like this and I've been on I've been in the fire service on this side of the mountains for 33 years almost. While fire crews continue to fight the fire from the ground and from the air. Images from above show hot spots and burned out fields in the forefront of a fire that's now destroyed at least four homes. It's like we just had to wait and see. Mark and Victoria Channing returned to their home on Myers Road this morning. We finally got to go up there and go get some of our stuff. A lot of smoldering around the house. But they saved the house. Mark credits the firefighters and a 5,000 gallon swimming pool in his backyard that he says was drained to help protect his home. Thank God that pool might have saved uh, our house. Trucks with water sprayers were seen making their way through neighborhoods trying to keep lawns and front yards from drying out. Thank God for those firemen uh, and the helicopter pilots. Amazing. The fire marshal's office says today's focus was about protecting homes and establishing and containing the perimeter of this fire. Meanwhile, evacuations are still in place tonight. For now, live in Sumner tonight, Britt Moore, King 5 News. Thank you, Britt. Well, today the governor toured some of the wildfire damage. Since Monday, about 150 homes statewide have been destroyed. Having seen these fires, unfortunately, too frequently, the psychological loss of losing your home is a deep, deep wound. And it's not just economic. The people who've lost their homes have lost their sense of security. The governor has declared a statewide fire emergency. He's planning to sign a proclamation that will allow families who've lost their homes because of wildfires to get cash assistance.